So, let us compare the high end processors i7 5960X Intel's Haswell Extreme Edition with the Xeon E5 2699V3, the server processor, and I also add i7 5820K because some of the people like you and me they live below the poverty line. Looking at the pricing, we have 5960X at a thousand fifty nine dollars versus three ninety six dollars for below poverty line 5820K processor at three ninety six dollars. We do not have the Xeon processor listed the here in its pricing. So, we go to the Amazon website and see its price at four thousand six hundred and seventy one dollars. So, what do you want to spend? Let us take a look at some of the key differences in terms of the number of code basically it is a matter of scaling the number of code. We have octa deca 18 cores in the Xeon processor that is 3 times the 6 core uh, 6 cores in 5820K and more than twice the number of cores in i7-5960X. Unfortunately, the frequency has to be reduced from 3 gigahertz to 2.3 gigahertz to support everything within a 145 watts power envelope. Peak frequency does not change at 3.6 gigahertz for 3.5 gigahertz. The Haswell E, the poor man's processor is not well way below 5960X at only 396 dollars. So, let us compare their past market score we have 5820K the cheaper one at 12,995 and we have 16,014 for i7-5960X. But if you have the money to spend that is the one to take a look at 22,892. So, it is up to you which one you want to choose. So, it is a matter of you want to spend a thousand dollars, four hundred dollars or four thousand dollars depending upon the price performance ratio you can choose one of these three and they are the top of the line processor as of now in October 2015. Thanks for taking a look.